Hi everyone, welcome back to Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. Today's video is a review video for the Women's Prize for Fiction, and it's this book, Western Lane by Chetna Marie. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name's Alice and I have way too many books. But in this video, I'm not talking about any of those books. I'm talking about this one, Western Lane by Chetna Maru. This is actually my first review of a book from the Women's Prize for Fiction long list 2024. And it's that's because this is the first book that I have completed on that list. Western Lane was published in 2023. It is a debut novel by Chetna Maru. And I would almost describe it as a novella, really. It's very short, clocking in at only 161 pages in this hardback copy. And this was also notably shortlisted for the Booker Prize in 2023. And I didn't read it for the Booker Prize, of course, because I was trying not to get involved in the Booker Prize. And I wasn't too sure what to think about this book because the main thing that people had said about it was that it's a book about grief and it's a book about squash, the sport. Let's get straight into what Western Lane is actually about. This book is told in the first person by 11 year old Gopi and it takes place in the sort of year or so following her mother's death. Gopi is one of three sisters and she finds that she is closest to her father when she is on the squash court where through the course of the book she becomes the best player out of her sisters. On the court she also develops a friendship with Jed, the 13 year old son of an employee at the eponymous Western Lane where she trains. So I would describe Western Lane as a quiet coming of age story as well as a moving book about the various ways in which grief can affect both individuals and families. Let's talk about Western Lane in terms of what I liked about it. I really liked the writing in this. It was sometimes poetic and dreamlike to me, although not too poetic and dreamlike. It was also at the same time quite simple and I enjoyed the simplicity. I really liked Gopi's narrative voice and her telling of this story. I liked how it moved between squash and life and I feel like Gopi was quite astute at seeing grief and emotion in her family home, but it also had quite a nice childlike innocence in places. I thought her voice was done well and was consistent and I was engaged in this throughout really. I would say the main complaint that I've heard about Western Lane is that it doesn't have a huge amount of plot, but I didn't really mind this too much. I still found myself wanting to read on. I was quite invested in the life of the family and the other characters surrounding the family. I really wanted to know what would happen to Gopi and her sisters. So I didn't really find too many faults with this book. As I said, it is quiet, but I've said in a couple of recent videos, that I think that there is a time and a place for quiet books and I was still in the mood for quiet books. I very much enjoyed this. What do I think didn't quite hit the spot for me is very little in this because it was so short. So I do think that this reads as a debut. I can't really explain why I think that. It just feels reminiscent of some other debut novels that I've read, although I can't call them particularly to mind. More in terms of vibes than um, like plot and characters. I would definitely be interested to read what the author writes next and see her writing sort of develop and I'd be interested to see what other stories she has to tell. If I had one main complaint it would be that I would have liked a little bit more of this book. It's very very short. I do like a short book but I really did want to know what happened to Gopi next. I would happily pick up another instalment of her story but it didn't really work like that. It wasn't the sort of book that I think would ever have a sequel. It was a story about a very specific time period in Gopi's life, but I just would have liked to find out what happened next. I think that's my own des just desire for more closure and just more about characters' lives once you've become invested in them. So that was my main criticism of it. But overall, I would say that this is a really sort of 
quiet and gentle look at grief, how people grieve differently. I enjoyed the themes of sisterhood, of grief, of like family dynamics. And I would even say I enjoyed the weaving in of the game of squash in this book, even though I have played squash probably less than a handful of times. I still thought it was fine in this. It wasn't like it read like a book about sport. I think this could be a book for you to pick up if you do like sort of quiet understated books, um, ones with nice storytelling but not an action-packed plot at all. If you like stories about families and about grief, I don't think this will be a book for you if you love action and plot driven. I think that's really all I have to say about Western Lane. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Have you read Western Lane? Do you think you might read it? If you have read it, what did you think? And if you've read any other books from the Women's Prize for Fiction, do let me know how this one compares because this was my first from this year's long list. If you have enjoyed this review today, I would love it if you would give it a like and perhaps consider subscribing if you haven't already. I am going to be reviewing all of the Women's Prize for Nonfiction and Fiction books as I read them, hopefully. And if you've missed any of the other ones so far, I have now reviewed two of the nonfiction list. Um, you can find them listed in the description down below. And I do have a playlist of all of my Women's Prize content and of The Plod Along, which I've been running with Gemma from Gemma Books and Charlie from Charlie Brook Reads. And that is a very relaxed, very unofficial following of the women's prizes this year in whatever way you choose to engage with them. And yeah, we just get together and chat about the books live on YouTube every week or so. And if you've missed our lives so far but would like to see us chatting to some other booktubers about this prize, I will also link our playlist down below. Thanks for watching today and I hope very much to see you all again soon for another video all about books here on Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. Bye for now!